So um, information types actually give us something to understand ac across all the people with all the people we talk to. So for example, it's really hard for people to understand metadata. And it's really hard for people to get too excited about a content repository. I mean, most people in the organization kind of think of that as a foreign language. Both things are really, really just foreign languages. And they take for granted that we actually know what we're talking about, but they also dismiss what we're talking about because it's just too hard for them to understand. So the great thing I think information types presents us with is an opportunity to make it real and to make it understandable because people, everybody gets what an academic article is or they get what a, a working paper is that, because it's sort of the essence of why we're here. You know, it's to produce this information, it's to share information, it's to generate new ideas from that information. That's kind of the centerpiece, right? That's sort of the explicit thing that gets, to, that gets, becomes real for everybody. And so it gives us a common language. It gives us something that we can all get excited about, and it gives us something that we can all understand how we're involved in either putting the ideas together or putting it into the right kind of format or disseminating. I mean, that it really provides sort of the corner and the anchor and all the things that make it possible for us to talk to each other.